Marla, I could show you okay, accident Tom. investigators are on the scene right here. You can see just how devastating this crash was involving this big rig carrying gravel as well as that older model maroon color Ford Expedition. Again, this happening at around 615 this morning, according to CHP officers on the scene. That expedition carrying 25 people on board was traveling westbound on Norris Street. That is the tiny street which intersects State Route 115 right here. It was traveling westbound. There is a stop sign, but according to CHP officers, it's unclear if that expedi expedition did in fact stop. Now that big rig was traveling away from us, traveling northbound on State Route 115 when the collision happened. Obviously, as you see the positioning right now, that big rig jackknifed, and you can see basically T-boning that expedition again, where 25 people were on board. According to CHP officials, at least six people were ejected because of the force of the accident. Some were found deceased inside the vehicle as well. In total, 12 people died here on the scene. One died at the hospital. Of course, the 12 others, 13 others were taken to the hospital as well. Now, among the dead is the driver of the SUV. In total, the ages ranging uh, inside the vehicle, the SUV, ranged from 16 to 55 years old. In terms of the number of people who passed away here, they range in age from 22 to 25 years old. Now, according to CHP, CHP officials here on the scene, obviously, this is devastating. They're looking into the investigation right now. And obviously, they need to find out if they are U.S. citizens. It's not known yet as of right now, but they are working with the Mexican consulate at this hour. Listen to what they had to say just moments ago. At this point, it's unknown whether or not the expedition stopped at the stop sign, but it did enter the intersection in front of the big rig. Subsequently, the big rig collided with the left side of the Ford Exposition. As a result of this collision, the driver of the big rig sustained moderate injuries and was transported to Desert Regional Medical Center, where his injuries are being treated. There were 25 occupants in the Ford Exposition, including the driver. Unfortunately, 12 of the occupants, including the driver, succumbed to the injuries on scene. One other person was transported to the hospital where they also succumbed to the injuries. Our staff has done a tremendous job getting everything ready. Uh, for these patients and being able to handle them and get them transferred out um, to the appropriate places as soon as possible. Or if we can take care of them here, they're being well taken care of as well. Now, according to CHP officers here on the scene, in terms of the 12 survivors of this crash, a number of them were airlifted to area hospitals, others transported, obviously, immediately after the collision. They say they range in terms of condition from moderate to life-threatening at this point. And when I asked the CHP chief whether or not he has ever seen so many people inside a vehicle like this one that is meant to hold about eight passengers max, he said, unfortunately in this area and even in the LA area it is common at times to see a number of occupants inside vehicles which should not be uh, taking place and he says that of course there are not enough safety restraints inside that expedition and it's unclear yet at this point of the investigation whether there are other safety measures deployed like airbags or any other safety feature inside that Ford expedition that could have made things a little better for uh, the occupants of that vehicle. But I just want to leave you with this and show you just how horrific uh, this collision was taking place right here at the intersection of Norrish and State Road 115 here in Holtzville. Obviously, our thoughts and prayers with the families impacted by all of this. And we know that uh, the driver of the big rig was transported to the hospital. He is in moderate condition, according to CHP officials. He gave a brief statement. Of course, they want to hear more from him him in terms of how this all played out. Marla. And Sandra, I know you were there taking part when CHP just gave this update. You asked about speeds. It's unclear, yes, Marla, at this point, whether or not 
speed was a factor in all this. They don't even know if that Ford Expedition stopped at the stop sign right there on Norrish Road. And I can tell you from this vantage point, being on the ground right here, there are skid marks and those skid marks translating from that big rig. And you can see just the impact and how that big rig jackknifed right there. So again, I ask that because we do see skid marks right here. We do see how just impactful that collision was. So clearly they're going to look into whether or not the rate of speed took a, a is a factor in all of this as well but clearly again from people locals here as well as chp officials they say this is a very well traveled highway state road 115 it is closed in this section for right now obviously because the investigation is underway but uh, this is a popular well traveled road and clearly speed could have been a factor